Hello and welcome to The Perfect Profile with Journal Journalism MO2, Digital Media Reporting and Writing. I'm at Moore Park College and this is Professor Kelsey Stewart. How to write a compelling profile. The focus of profiles should be news angles or aspects of the subject's personal or professional life, explanations for why the subject is newsworthy, relevant, and interesting. They should be based on interviews with the actual subject as well as following up with three to five different sources that back up the subject's uh, story. You're going to include major elements of hard news stories but also provide readers with details that capture the essence of the subject being profiled. A profile is a type of feature story and it usually focuses on a person and what's important or interesting about that person at that moment. For example, the journalist Gay Talese did a famous profile on Frank Sinatra called Frank Sinatra Has a Cold and spoke to the singer's entourage since Sinatra could not, would not grant an interview. Although profiles usually focus on people like celebrities, journalists also profile entities like sports teams and companies. It's also not necessary for subjects of profiles to be public figures. They can be anyone who might make an interesting story that readers can relate to. Profiles are popular in magazines, but you will also see profiles in newspapers and other publications. The first interview is the most important, and it will always be followed by a second and third for clarification. Make sure you have done your research on your subject first. You want to draft out questions that linger. Find a part of their lives that have not been addressed yet if they've been interviewed before, and make it special. Remember, at that moment is your focus. Focus on the story. Take the grit and make it shine. Avoid and thens and remove total focus on the quotes. Feature stories, such as individual profiles, are much different than hard news so stories. Part of your job is to weave a narrative for the readers. When interviewing subjects, focus on getting the details of the story accurate and don't worry so much about taking down everything they say verbatim. verbatim. Certainly, if someone says something worth quoting, that must be accurate, but an abundance of quotes is not what drives a good narrative. Show, don't tell is a prime line for journalists, but for a future or profile story, this is huge. Rather than a chronological reaccount of their lives, show it through advanced writing techniques and drop a reader into the scene. Most writers remember this from their creative writing classes, and it's especially valuable when writing feature stories. Set a scene for the readers and build tension. Make them feel as if they are right there in the story alongside your subject. Why do we care? You must clearly define why this story, why this subject you're interviewing is newsworthy. Perhaps the individual being profiled did something or experienced something uncommon. Perhaps the subject had an experience or is involved in something that serves as a point of, of broader news. Make sure that you draft it out. Highlight the most important, interesting and important points and go from there. Once you're ready to write, you review your notes and mark down the most interesting points and quotes that you would like to use to shape your story about this person. Consider what was the most surprising and build your story structure around the peaks and the compelling parts of the conversation. Make it count. Readers will decide in the first paragraph whether it's worth reading or not. You want to spend extra time at the beginning of your story. Readers will decide whether to keep reading based on your lead and how much you have piqued their interest. You want to prioritize verbs over adjectives because verbs give a sense of action, of something's happening, rather than a descriptive start to a novel on a dark and stormy night. You want to make sure that you grab your readers immediately. Don't describe someone as bitter or an office as sterile. Instead, describe the details you observed and let the reader envision that person's actions or the characteristics of that office themselves. One of the best stories was um, a, a student of mine did on a mural artist. And rather than just writing about the fact that she paints, he went and observed her painting and covered that entire scene within his profile. Quotes are incredibly important, but you don't want to overload with them. But you also don't want to talk too much. You need to find a balance. You need to pull out your favorite novel and find the best scene with heavy dialogue. Imagine what your story needs. 
Make sure you complete the story too. Don't leave giant gaps that keeps the readers confused. You have to be strategic with your quotations. Like It can be hard to capture a mood with direct quotes only, so use your own prose and then interject relevant quotes to enhance your point. Be sure to always provide attribution for the quotes that you do use, as a reader shouldn't have to ever wonder who is talking. You need to also watch for gaps, though. After there, after, are there gaping holes in your story or questions that you do not have answered? Another uh, journalist should read your story and tell you if they are left with more questions and answers at the end of it. Your conclusion is often one of the most important parts of a profile. It wraps it up, but it also gives a reader a sense of completion in reading it. They're not reading hard news. They're reading a story about a special individual. So it's up to you how you want to end it, but make sure to check out a, perf a favorite profile art article of your own and see what techniques they used. Uh, this is one from Vogue. It was a profile on Reese Witherspoon. And the last quote was, the last part of the, st of the story was a quote from Reese saying, I didn't think a moment like this was going to happen, she says, cradling Pepper, the French bulldog in her arms. We're not there yet, but I lay down and dream of all this stuff seven or, I lay down and dreamed of all this stuff seven or eight years ago, and now it's finally starting to happen. I guess what I do now is start thinking of some more dreams. That was the last quote. That is the very end of the, uh, of the story or the profile on Reese Witherspoon, and it tied it up pretty nicely. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, please let me know if you have any questions.